oral cancers are increasing in the U.S., and as in my own case, most people know little about them. Like many, I thought that this was a cancer that impacted much older people who had used tobacco most of their lives. While that's still a problem, the fastest growing segment of the people developing oral cancers are young non-smokers. A very common virus, one responsible for the vast majority of cervical cancers, is now identified as a cause of this rapid rise in oral cancers. Thankfully, in a fast, inexpensive, and painless visual and tactile screening, a medical or dental professional can often identify early stage disease. So please, the next time you visit your dentist or your medical doctor, ask for this simple screening. Finding oral cancer in its earliest stages may save your life.